Like most of you, I started my lion career because I wanted to serve my community. I remember my first project with the Coppell Lions Club was doing a Christmas distribution to the elderly in our community. We were a relatively new club. We'd only been around for about a year. And so we had to go searching for revenue in order to make those distributions a reality. As we went on down the road, we kept looking for additional projects to do in our community to help keep us relevant and to make a difference because that's really what we wanted to do. We wanted to make a difference. The next project of major that we engaged in was we decided to do an eyeglass distribution. We were fortunate enough that our district had been able to secure an iBus, a great big van that had instruments in it that were able to test the vision of kiddos and make a determination of what kind of glasses they needed. Part of that distribution ended up being a man who came up with three kiddos who was looking for an opportunity to get them tested while he was waiting in line with the kids and all, and the kids had gone in to see the doctor, we got to talking a little bit, and I asked him if he himself would like to go into the bus to see what we were doing. As it turned out, he needed glasses, and we were able to get them to him. And it turned out that because we were able to get him, he was able to keep his job as a driver. You know, it's really important to somebody like that to get those glasses, to be able to drive their vehicle, to be able to provide for their family and to be the breadwinner for his family. You know, that bus that we used was almost entirely paid for with a grant from LCIF. That was really my first experience with LCIF and the impact that it can have on the kind of service each and every one of us can do. As the years go by, we found out there were more things that we could do, whether it was doing a food, food distribution, additional eye clinics, serving those that were in need of healthcare, like diabetes screening. In 2015, our club and our district embarked on a major endeavor. We decided that we were going to try and test every child that needed it in District 2X1. And our governor at the time went and applied for a grant to get spot machines for all our clubs to use in screening kiddos. Now those spot machines, no telling how many thousands of kiddos we've tested. And combining those spot machines with our seeing van enabled us to put glasses on hundreds of kiddos that needed them and had nowhere else to go. Those glasses now have served kiddos who have now graduated from college. They have served the communities we serve. We serve. As we've gone on, I've also discovered that LCIF also it provides services not only for our local clubs and our local districts, but they also have truly an international impact. One of our members in District 2X1 decided that she wanted to make a pilgrimage to her family's school that they sponsor in Africa. She had recently lost her husband and was looking for something to do, and her niece said, I'll go with you. And she decided that she was going to take glasses and screening equipment to Jamba, Africa. Well, it was kind of interesting because we had some equipment left over as we had recycled some of that original equipment from the eyeglass van. And she went over there with equipment that we were able to package and send with her, along with 500 pairs of glasses that were re had been recycled through the recycling center. You know, she got over there scared to death because she had never actually used the equipment on anyone. And the day came for the screening and what should happen? But they had eight students of ophthalmology come from a Lions College that had been set up near the village. The college was funded by a grant from LCIF. 
those eight students screened over 400 kiddos and all of the staff for the school. As a result of that effort, 200 kiddos who needed glasses received them. And we left over 300 pairs of glasses for those students in the ophthalmology school to give to other members of that community. Truly had LCIF not helped us with the van, not established the school for ophthalmology students to study, those kiddos still wouldn't have glasses. So from an international perspective, LCIF reaches many people and level, enables lions to serve worldwide. Recently, our district embarked on a campaign to be sure that everyone is fed and LCIF helped us establish a mobile food pantry that is now being used to feed those in our communities who are victims of food deserts in the area. Places where they're not available to get fresh vegetables, fresh fruit, and the kind of nutrition that most of us enjoy and don't even think about. That mobile van was partially paid for by LCIF. We have another food pantry in the southeastern part of our district. Again, they needed to expand because the demand was greater. And LCIF came through to help us provide additional facilities and trucks so that we could feed an additional 2,000 people each and every week. Our last project that I want to tell you about very quickly was there are over 60,000 kiddos in the DFW area that do not have a bed. And combining and partnering with Sleep in Heavenly Peace, we made it our mission to begin to provide beds for those kiddos. We were fortunate that LCIF granted us a special matching grant to begin to build beds for those kiddos. And so half of those beds went to kids in the North Texas area. The other half of the beds went to our Texas Lions camp, which had been hit very hard by some storms the preceding spring. So LCIF helped us not only rebuild our camp, but also to provide beds for children in our community. You know, thank you and I got to, to thinking about it. Where else? Could we put our money that we can serve not only our community, but we can serve halfway around the world? Where else can we put our money where we can help lions do what lions do best? You know, lions' motto is we serve. There are many hands out there and sometimes all those hands need to accomplish miracles is a little funding. And LCIF does that. Sometimes those hands work with other hands and we have partnerships. And when those partnerships come together with a little bit of funding from LCIF, miracles do happen. That's why I'm proud to be a major donor to LCIF because I want those miracles to continue and I want Lions to be able to continue to serve their communities in whatever ways are necessary to make those communities better. Thank you.